Well, uh, first of all, uh, Frank, I should um, tell you that I've actually been reflecting on uh, my own trajectory um, uh, with respect to solidarity with Palestine. And you know, I've been remembering um, what it was like to attend a university which was founded in the same year as the State of Israel, what it was like to um, actually uh, learn to experience solidarity with Palestinian people uh, from my Jewish classmates uh, at Brandeis and thinking about the conversations, the sort of subterranean conversations that happened uh, on, on the campus uh, when the administration always emphasized the uh, um, importance of Brandeis supporting the, the, the state of um, Israel. Um, so I, I've had a very long journey um, that, um, you know, has involved um, um, Palestinian political prisoners supporting me when when I was in jail. That has involved meeting um, um, Arafat at the World um, Festival for uh, uh, youth and students in 1973, I believe it was, in East Germany. Um, and I've come to realize that my own sense of myself as a political being uh, is very much linked to uh, the ways in which uh, I've learned how to uh, experience and organize for solidarity uh, with, with Palestine. It seems to me that Palestine represents uh, to this generation what South Africa uh, represented uh, to older uh, generations. Uh, and the, the sense that um, it has to be incorporated into every social justice agenda, particularly now, given this genocidal assault on, 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 on the people of Gaza. Uh, so on the one hand, I'm very, I'm very sad. Uh, and I, I know that this is uh, an emotional issue, not only a political issue for so many people around uh, the world. But at the same time, I'm happy uh, to uh, witness um, a kind of massive show of support uh, for uh, people in Gaza and to see people standing up to Zionism as they never have before in my own experience. And so my visit to Palestine in um, 2011 was really a, a kind of a turning point for me. I had been involved in solidarity efforts for Palestine since my days in college. Uh, uh, but it was um, visiting Palestine and recognizing that as much as I thought I knew about uh, the uh, situation of apartheid in South Africa, that I really didn't. Uh, and it brought forth memories of growing up in the most segregated uh, city of the United States. Uh, it um, made me recognize that in so many respects, uh, 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 the situation that Israel has created for, for uh, uh, Palestinians, Palestinians was far worse than anything that I had ever experienced. Uh, and and so uh, those of us who went on that delegation, it was a delegation of of um, of of women of color and indigenous women who were scholar activists. Uh, uh, we all made a strong commitment uh, that we would um, uh, continue to do the work that we were doing, but but even more so to try to help guarantee that uh, the question of Palestine was incorporated into social justice issues and, and social justice agendas, no matter what the particular focus. Uh, for too long, uh, there were all of the social justice issues, movements against racism, movements for gender equality, uh, um, movements against war in other parts of the world. And then there was 
Palestine as a separate issue. And so we made a commitment uh, to ourselves and to the world to try to um, assist in breaking uh, that uh, isolation that had been uh, uh, responsible for the fact that so many people around the world, and especially here in the U.S., simply did not know what was happening in Palestine. 